Defense News in a nutshell. Your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SEF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 13th of July to the 2nd of August. Men and women of the Singapore Armed Forces, past and present, have played a significant role in building and shaping the SEF into what it is today. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong joined them at the SCF 50 dinner held at Pase Lava Camp to mark 50 years of the SCF giving strength to the nation. During the dinner, PM Lee thanked everyone for their contributions and urged the current generation to continue the pioneering spirit which has brought Singapore this far so that peace and security can be enjoyed by Singaporeans for many years to come. I think the first generation of pioneers will be long retired but their spirit must live on in all of us and their values the values of courage, of self-sacrifice, of service to the nation must be handed down from generation to generation. Then we'll always be secure. All of us and our families can sleep easily at night. At the dinner, PM Lee launched the SEF 50 commemorative book, Giving Strength to Our Nation, the SEF and Its People, which pays tribute to all who have served in the SEF, as well as those outside the military who have helped build the SEF into what it is today. They came in droves to the Astana, eager to show their support for the SAF as it marked its Golden Jubilee, with President Tony Tan Keng Yam joining in the celebrations. At the SCF 50 at Astana event, President Tan interacted with full-time national servicemen, operationally ready national servicemen, regulars as well as SCF pioneers. He also spoke with the families of servicemen and women and thanked them for their support for the SCF and national service. I have to give him the support uh, because he's doing it for his country. Yeah, yeah, and I feel so proud about it. I want him to continue to, to give his best to the country. Yeah. About 21,000 visitors, including members of the public, were at the event. It featured exhibitions and activities highlighting the SCF's journey and growth over the last 50 years, as well as stories about the men and women who built up the armed forces. When training becomes tough, we just wonder why we are going through all that suffering and there must be a purpose for it. And apart from just a family, there should be a greater purpose which is the home. So that's where I draw strength from. Defence Minister Dr Ng Eng Hen presented the Singapore Armed Forces Scholarship to 10 recipients, SCF Merit Scholarship to 20 recipients, as well as a Defence Merit Scholarship to 13 recipients at a ceremony held at the Astana. Speaking at the ceremony, Dr Ng challenged the scholarship recipients to live up to the high expectations of being a Defence Scholar and urged them to continue to uphold the high standards. If each generation shows the same unwavering determination to take up the duty of defending Singapore, I'm confident that we'll be able to confront uncertainties with courage and resilience and emerge stronger as a nation. Being in a leadership position in SCF, uh, especially at a policy planning level, can really allow me and empower me to make differences uh, to the lives of people, especially NS men. At a separate ceremony held at Orchard Hotel, 101 recipients were awarded the Defence Science and Technology Agency DSO National Laboratory Scholarship for junior college, undergraduate and postgraduate studies. The defence tech community indeed forms an indispensable partner without which the SAF could not have progressed to what it is today. Essentially, what I hope to bring back uh, from Penn State is actually their transducer technology and also to tap on their expertise and also network with them, hoping to uh, find opportunities to collaborate with uh, the experts over there, you know, and of course, knowledge transfer and tech transfer back to Singapore. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. They play a vital role in the SCF. Military experts or MEs are valued for their experience and expertise in many areas of operation. Check out the stories of some of the newly appointed senior military experts on the Cyber Pioneer Facebook page as they go on to assume command or staff appointments in the professional areas in the SCF. It was an action-packed sea exercise. For the first time, unmanned aerial vehicles were deployed in the conventional maritime warfare training, adding a new level of complexity to the exercise. Go to the Navy's Facebook page for photos and a video of Exercise Karat, a joint exercise between the Singapore and US navies. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power 98, signing off.